Mindy, a GED student, was taking a look at this problem. She kept posting it um, in a Facebook group that I belong to, GED, We Study and Help Each Other. And she was just getting all twisted and turned around because she was like, look, I've been watching the videos. I know about inequalities. I'm looking at this problem and I know the sign should flip. And yet the answer key, it has the same uh, sign. Instead of what I expected, the answer said, P is greater than e or equal to negative two. She saw that the inequality symbol in the problem was the same as the answer. And I bet Mindy thought, you know, Kate, you've been lying to me. <laughs> you told me again and again that when I multiply and divide by a negative, the sign flips. That when I flip the signs, the sign flip. Why didn't the inequality sign flip in this problem? And my answer to Mindy is it did, but it did it twice. Be super careful not to skip steps. Let me go ahead, show you what I mean. So we are going to work this problem here just one step at a time. As much as I know you guys want to save time, you're like, we've got a lot to do. There's so much to learn for the GED. Um, sometimes taking your time is worth it, okay? So I like, I think, your what your first step was, but you didn't show it to me, Mindy, so I'm not sure. So I'm just going to go ahead and guess that your first step here was to isolate P, get P by itself. Now I can see right now that if I look on the right hand side of this equation, or this inequality I should say, that's where P is and P is definitely not by itself. It has this negative 16 hanging out. Now if I want to get rid of this in order, this number, in order to isolate P, get it by itself, I have to use opposites. Now be really careful. A lot of students would think, hey the opposite of this minus 16 is plus 16, but this is not a minus 16. The 16 is not minusing. Notice how the negative 16 is shoved up there against the P. Those two things are multiplying. When two things are shoved together with nothing between them, a number and a letter, they are multiplying. If I would like to get rid of multiplication, I need to do the opposite. I need to divide here by negative 16. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna divide by negative 16. And as always, as usual, I can do whatever I want to an inequality as long as I do it to both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and divide the other side by negative 16 as well. And this is where I'm begging, begging, begging you not to skip any steps because I need to see exactly what happens. Remember that I always say to you guys that algebra students go down. I want you to simplify right underneath. If you don't develop that good habit now, you're going to be shooting yourself in the foot, kind of just like you did. Mindy. So let's go ahead and take a look. 32 divided by negative 16. You can do the work in your calendar, I mean in your calculator, but please, please, please be a good secretary. Put the answer right underneath. Now, let's think about it. What did I do? I divided both sides of my equation by a negative and Mindy was right. The one thing you need to remember with these inequalities is that when you multiply or divide both sides by a negative, it flips the inequality symbol. So I'm not going to see greater than or equal to at this step. I'm going to say that again at this step. I'm going to see less than or equal to. My sign is going to flip because of that action that I did, negating both sides of the equation, changing their signs. Okay, and on the other side, of course, multiplying and dividing by negative 16 or opposites, they cancel, and so I have this statement. Negative 2 is less than or equal to p. Now, technically, this inequality is done. There's nothing wrong with this answer, Mindy, okay? I mean, you could stop right here in your college math class. You'd be totally right. No one would mark you wrong. P is all by itself. Um, and I know P's relationship to this number here. However, this is not the normal way we write the answers to inequality. So I'm going to say that again. This is not the normal way, okay? It's not that it's wrong. It's just it's not normal. We normally like to have the letter on the left. Why do we like that? Well, it just makes it easier to think about. It makes it easier to think about what our mystery number, in this case P is, you know, in relationship to another number. And so we like to have the letter on the left and the number over on the right, just to make it easier to think about, easier to graph, easier to understand. Again, not writer, just easier. And now, and now, 
I've changed the relationship again. You know, and it's just like I uh, typed out in the Facebook comment to you, Mindy, if I had this statement like I am taller than you. And I wanted to flip the order of who I talked about first. Let's say I'm being rude. I'm always talking about myself first. Mindy, you know how I'm, I'm a little self-centered. So let's start with you. You, well, hello, we know this in English. We wouldn't say, well, then you are taller than me. That's a very different statement. I am taller than you and you are taller than me are two totally opposite ideas. So the deal is if I flip the you and me, the I and you, I need to also flip the word that the um, the word that describes our relationship. I need the opposite relationship. It wouldn't be taller, it would be shorter. If I am taller than you, then you are shorter than me. Okay, this is a principle we understand. So let's now take that into the land of math. If negative two is smaller than or equal to P, then P must be the bigger number. And so this symbol is going to flip again, this time for a different reason, because I flipped the right and left hand sides. So that's the deal. I mean, really, that's it, guys. Once again, it comes back down to the same thing I always say. You guys have heard me say it before. I've never yet met a student who's bad at algebra, but you guys are crappy secretaries. I love you to death, but I would not hire you to type up my stuff because you guys like to skip steps all the time. It's like this idea that I'm going to get done faster. It's going to be better if I don't have to show all this work. My teacher's always asking me to show. I'm not showing it for my sake. I know how to do the problem. I need you to be able to follow along with what you're doing. This was a two-step problem if you want to get to the point where the P is on the left. First we solved, then we inverted the two sides. And it just so happens that in both of these steps, the inequality symbol flipped. Okay, so super glad to do this problem for you, Mindy. Super glad you posted it. I think that a ton of students are going to benefit from understanding this concept. And speaking of benefiting, if you have benefited from Light and Salt Learning, I would just encourage you to head on over to the website, lightandsaltlearning.org, and pay it forward. Bless others, all the people who want to continue using these resources and having free access to resources, become a patron of uh, my channel, or buy me a cup of coffee so I can keep doing what I'm doing. Happy learning.